Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is a compilation of clips from the past couple of days, just highlights of stuff that I've added to the lodge. Now this first clip is actually off of my own map, the rest are from multiplayer, but I have been kind of working sort of on a lion grind on Vrahonga, looking to add some rare or diamond lions to the lodge, as I had plenty on Xbox but hadn't gotten any on PC at all, so I've been working on that slowly, and I picked up this track just earliest day, and it said dark brown. I have never shot a dark brown lion, and it was a male. I was so excited. Even though he's a small male, this was awesome. I was just, I couldn't believe it. They're so gorgeous. I've never seen one, and I just, oh, I was so happy. But I went to go and take that shot there because he was trotting broadside, and then he just went back into the brush. And this was a thing. I tracked this guy for a really long time, but he just kept sticking in the brush the whole time. And it was really frustrating because I really wanted to, you know, get him into the open where I could get a shot on him and be done with it. Because even though I knew he was only probably going to be a silver, I didn't want to mess the shot up. I wanted to actually get a decent shot on it, seeing as it was my first ever dark brown. And then something really weird happened. He came up here onto this rock, which I believe is actually part of a mission and that's why it has this tent on here, because this tent is nothing to do with me and I, if I remember correctly it is from the missions. And I couldn't see where he'd gone. I was expecting that, like, I was relieved. He was out of the brush and I was hoping he was either going to go up the cliff face or sort of back down because you can see there there's a slope and then it goes down and it's a bit more wide open and I was hoping that either way I'd be able to get a clear shot on him after he'd calmed down. But you'll notice I'm looking around looking like okay where is he, where's the next track, I'm trying to work out where he'd gone. And I just for the life of me couldn't see him, I couldn't work out where he'd gone and I thought oh no has something happened, has he glitched you know and disappeared. I didn't know what might have happened because, I don't know, something about the tent being there made me think that something might have gone wrong. And after, you know, quite a long track, I really just wanted to find him and put him down. Even though it was on my own map, I didn't really want to reset the time. I just wanted to actually get him out in the open. And because of where his drink zone was in that bush, I didn't really want to reset the time and then him go back there. And I started walking back along this rock and I spotted him. He was just stuck, just sort of behind the tent. And I just couldn't believe it. So obviously what must have happened is when he ran over here, something about the terrain, maybe something to do with the mission tent being there, caused him to glitch out and he got stuck. Um, this happens like sometimes with animals anyway. Like it's quite well known that this does happen. But to actually have it happen with a rare, with such a cool rare, I couldn't believe it. So of course I had to stop and take some screenshots and just look at him. Because this is, you don't get this chance very often to see, you know, a rare lion up close, you know, uh, that's not in the lodge, that's actually on the map. And I just couldn't believe it. After a, more than a two kilometre track for him to end up like this, this isn't exactly how I would have wanted to, to shoot him or to find him, but I couldn't, like just not shoot him when he was there and after taking the shot it just ended up being really cool so I will now let that play out and yeah you can see the track there from where his drink zone was all the way down here so time to take the shot on him I guess <laughs> how cool was that you do not get to hear a lion's growl that close very often in this game. Oh, that was just so cool. And it oh, it would have been so bad if he had hit me there and actually taken me out because of the render glitch that's going on. But I, I was just like, right, okay, now I need to just get somewhere good so I can get some good screenshots of him. And this rock worked perfectly for a nice background for this. And yeah, you can see there how long that track was. And, like I said, just a small silver. He wasn't, like, massively below gold, but I'm not bothered. Honestly, he looks just as good as a, as a gold rare lion in the lodge. And this is actually my first rare male lion. I had an albino lioness and a uh, blonde lioness 
on the Xbox, as well as like three or four diamond males. So this is my first dark brown and my first rare male, and I am just so thrilled to finally have one of these just gorgeous rares in the lodge. So like, just they're just beautiful. Like this is just a, such a beautiful rare. Like I'm so thrilled. On a very low level Silver Ridge Peak server, I saw something that I have been wanting for a really long time. I have played this game for hundreds and hundreds of hours and I have never seen one of these guys. I am so thrilled to finally have one of these guys in my lodge. I couldn't believe it when I saw what the spotting info pop up. And as you'll see there, it is a 9 legendary black bear. Uh, my heart leapt when I spotted a bear and it said 9 legendary. I have never seen a legendary bear and I was just so excited. I wanted to get him down as quick as possible because it is multiplayer, but man, that is just so, so cool. And I was no, there's no way I was taking any kind of risky shot. I was waiting until he was stood up and I could get a good shot into his chest because I just didn't want to mess this up. And I was just sat there praying that he wouldn't troll because I've seen a lot of people get trolled by these guys lately. And so I just had to have my fingers crossed. I actually managed to drop him so I knew that I'd actually managed to make a heart shot, which is something that I definitely do keep trying to do with black bear, but I normally only get like a single lung, which when I'm just culling bears has not been a problem. But to actually make the heart shot on the diamond was, or what I was hoping would be a diamond at this point, because like I said, I'd seen so many trolls and I was like, okay, so I've done everything I can possibly do to make sure this guy makes diamond, so now I just need to hope that he actually makes it. And I was just so thrilled to actually finally have a legendary black bear on the ground. And then I picked him up and he did make diamond. And I, yeah, I got single lung heart and actually spine. And just to get him while he was standing up as well, it just looked so cool. And he was such, like, he was a good bit over diamond as well. I just cannot be more thrilled to finally have a diamond bear in the lodge. Hopefully now that means that my curse of never getting diamond bears is gone and I'll be able to get a diamond brown bear and a diamond grizzly bear in the future, hopefully. On Overhunger multiplayer, it was still dark, but it was Gemsbok drink time, so I decided to come to this Gemsbok hotspot in the Fever Tree Forest, and I spotted yet another gold Gemsbok. I managed to get that shot in there really quickly before any others managed to get in front of her. Now, it was just a small female, but I can never turn down these gold Gemsbok because they are just so beautiful. And yeah, this spot just keeps producing for me. I keep coming here all the time checking in case there might be a rare diamond or a diamond male. And I've had another diamond female in the past week and then again another gold, which these are actually quite rare. And until these guys started grouping up down here in the Fever Tree Forest, I only ever saw one I think and now they've been down here you're grouping up to drink down here I've had a couple of them so this spot is just a, such an insane hot spot and actually I managed to just just make that shot by getting the back of the lung and the spine so that was pretty lucky but like I said just another small female but I'm sure I can find somewhere in the lodge for them because she's just I love them I just think they look so pretty and yeah like I said they are actually pretty rare just after leaving a lodge on a low level Quattro Kalina server, I spotted a level 3 European hare. 
Now, I am so thrilled to have seen a European hair diamond again because I have not had one since back on Xbox. And actually, I got trolled by one on Xbox as well. And so I was hoping that this would actually make diamond and wouldn't troll me. I know that it's very rare for the level 3 animals like ducks and rabbits to actually troll, but I've had a troll duck recently, a troll mallard, and I have had a troll hair in the past, so I had all my fingers crossed that this would make it because I really like adding more diverse like a more diverse array of small game in the lodge not just ducks and you know because I have a lot of diamond cinnamon teal and they're pretty common and they all pretty much look the same so just having more variety is always good and these guys are actually pretty rare from what I've been hearing there's not a lot of diamond European hair being shot so actually finding one was really really nice and yeah she did make diamonds only just like she was just on the requirement at 6.5 so I'm really pleased that she did make it and it's just really nice to have one in the lodge again. I had a couple of albinos on Xbox as well and I'm hoping to get a couple of albinos of these again for the lodge in future but I will have to try and probably grind for them. On a completely empty Silver Ridge Peak server, like this server had no need zones whatsoever, just after leaving one of the lodges again I spot a level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk. And I actually had a conversation with someone recently where they said that the best hunting spots are almost never near lodges and I just thought sort of say like mention it in this because I have found almost completely the opposite that I get a lot of good stuff from directly outside lodges or very near lodges because of them being almost always situated near water and water if you know this game is just the hotspot for everything not only for the drink zones but they almost always have feed zones and rest zones around them as well so lakes are just where everything revolves around and it's not you know this is not the first time that I've had either an elk or like the hare in the previous clip I've had a springbok that was shot right outside a lodge it's it's pretty reliable that if you go, go from a lodge go towards water that you'll hopefully find something good I mean that's where I always find my diamonds and rares pretty much so this was a really really nice one to get again this is my third diamond rocky mountain elk on this account and he's a nice big one as well so he'll look really really good in the lodge Now you may see here that I am actually tracking a max weight estimate mountain goat at 120 to 145 kg. Now I knew this was actually a level 5 as I actually spooked him as I was running down to this lake, which was unfortunate. And he then just walked over the hill and I never saw him come back. And what he'd done is sort of gone down the other side of the hill, walked along the bottom and then come back up and over to the lake. But he'd come over in a completely different spot to where he'd fleed from. So I tracked him back over here and actually managed to get him to head back up this sort of cliff bit on this side of this mountain or hill, whatever you want to call it. And it was actually cool to get a mountain goat level 5 actually on a bit of mountainous area because I almost always shoot them on just like flat grass and it's just a bit cooler to actually see them up here you know jumping around on the rocks and he just gave me just such a perfect shot and it just worked really well and it was really cool how the rest of them then fleed up these rocks as well so I kind of had to avoid getting run over by them it was just awesome to actually get one like I said in this area because normally they're just down by the lake and I just shoot them with the M1 and they drop on the spot and it just made it like extra cool it just felt cool and I really, really like the mountain goats. I think they did such a fantastic job with their models. I think they must be one of the most realistic like animal models in the game. And he was actually a different fur type to the one that I had in the lodge already. So that was a nice bit of variety to... Actually, I've got them side by side now. So they just look a little bit different, which is really nice. And it's just nice that, you know, they've given like mountain goats and that several different like common fur types. The same with the Rocky Mountain Elk. So you can get a different common fur type instead of just, oh, a rare and then a diamond. So it's really nice. And like I said, it just looks cool seeing a mountain goat up here. It was just really, really nice.
on another Silver Ridge Peak server. I spotted this bison led down over here by the trees, and I was pretty convinced that he was melanistic, but because of him being led so near those shadows, I wasn't sure. I've been tricked before by bison thinking that they might be melanistic and then it's just been the shadows. But something about this individual bison made me think that he was, so I desperately tried to get up behind him where I could get at least a decent shot on him. I wasn't too bothered about getting a perfect shot because he is only a level 2, but he just looks darker than normal. And it was really cool with it being a male as well. I normally get rare female bison, so I was really excited and hoped that this guy would be melanistic and actually the first piece of a multi-mount that I wanted to do. He landed absolutely perfectly on the road. With an animal like this melanistic bison, having them land on the road is so awesome for getting screenshots. And he just they just look fantastic, the rare bison. Like that shiny black coat on him just looks beautiful. And I really wanted a rare male because I want to do the bison multi-mount with a rare bison and two rare wolves. So this was the first piece of that puzzle. And he was just it, even though it was a small one, they don't it doesn't really look bad with the bison when they're small, because similar to the lion, it's not that different between a small one and a diamond one, like at a quick glance. So it's it's pretty cool no matter what with these rares and he just looks awesome so I'm really pleased to have one and yeah like I said first piece of that multi-mount thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and hopefully